Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. So guys, now let's take a look in on the gold market. Once again, it's mostly the same story as in your currency. You can see it's how slow the overall performance stands and yesterday and today as well. The market stands in a tight range. So stands around the nearest support, it's 1998. And we said that, uh, well, as we considered in the vehicle report, we suggest that it might be another attempt to go lower. It's around 1983 target which is actually very close to daily oversold area uh, but at the same time would not expect any significant collapse on the gold so it's mostly might be some gradual slowdown action just because of the demand for united states dollar so you can see on the euro currency you can see that the stock market also stands really flat right now all financial life right now is uh, a bit uh, frozen it's just everybody's waiting for solution on the debt sale it's really uh, the hot topic right now so meantime if we take a look at the technical picture we still could keep an eye on our former analysis and uh, suggest that area around 1985 this might be completed so this is xop uh, and uh, take a look if market will form the butterfly here it's also might be 1985 1.7 extension of this butterfly that could lead market to the same target area speaking about the butterfly here is a tricky moment exists that here market could form the grubber within the few hours we will see it but approximately i just have my market here if market will close this candle above 2010 area you could definitely know that we have a grubber and grubber suggests taking out of this stuff for the butterfly it actually brings nothing really bad it's just because take a look if market will complete even upside apcd pattern or even could climb even higher that will change nothing it's just will well it will keep the same uh bearish bearish context valid just we need to well it might be just a bit just can't catch the shape of the wing so it will be just the different shape of the wing so even market will climb to the 20 35 area or somewhere butterfly will not disappear it will it will remain the same this is just a question where to take the position for a possible downward continuation scalp uh, scalp trade uh, because despite the target remains the same the shape of the butterfly might be different so it depends on the uh, performance of the gold market with this pullback and the grubber might become the first uh, step in all in this retracement the market will give us the grubber it tells at least that we're going to the 2025 20, area and above of this stop here is how theoretically it could look like and take a look on the hourly chart as you can see market uh, hasn't formed direct a b c d passion that we considered in the weekend suggesting that it might be card is cheaper to sell overall retracement will be done just in the beginning of the week and then market just could return back to the downside continuation this hasn't happened market uh showing this a bit deep action so our initial abcd is not valid anymore we have to use this point at the c and uh in this case we have the abcd op round 2024 it's agreement with this 2025 area and in general this is looks nice strong support so 2025 2029 is a confidence resistance and op right there it might be well chances that market or establish downward action right from here are significant at least if you take position right here you will have um, ability to move start to play stops on the break even because uh, the first touch since this is strong resistance market should show some bounce <clears throat> if even later it will try to keep going higher that's the attractiveness of the strong resistance levels that we usually try to use 
Alternatively, if we still we will see the stronger upper reaction, next target will be XOP around 2037. Um, as I said, this will not break the shape of the butterfly pads. That will be the next area to consider for a possible position taken. In this case, we will start watching for a probably 2040, 2047 as this um, area for considering taking the short position. Of course, if we will get something of this kind, so rally and you will see strong upward explosive action, do not take the short position. So upward action should be relatively gradual and slow. Well, that's what we theoretically could consider on the gold market right now. Um, some probably chances exist that if market will not form the grubber, that here it could form smaller butterfly, but the small butterfly, it also could show the our reaction directly to the target. This is also could happen. In this case, take a look. Uh, 1987, 161 in extension agrees with the same area. In this case, the minor butterfly will be formed. So, so lots of uh, work to deal with. If you consider taking the short position, you have to be careful and watch for all this stuff. So no grabber, market starts forming up reduction. You could consider probably using this butterfly for a possible short position. If gravel will be formed, you are watching for a larger pattern, moving this uh, top of the right wing higher and consider 2025 area. So this is how we have to deal with the current pullback and see actually what will happen.